Namaste, Food Sack here. Did you know that we are in the season of Diwali? Now, you may be wondering, what is Diwali? Well, it's an Indian festival celebrated by Hindus and Hindons across India and the Indian diaspora. It's also known as the Festival of Light, and it is the biggest holiday on the Indian calendar. It basically is a story celebrating the triumph of good over evil and the triumph of knowledge over ignorance. Like most Indian festivals, it is an explosion of color, fun, prayer, and food. So that's what I am checking out today. I'm down at Pizza Hut to check out what they are doing for Diwali. Now, this looks like a first to me that uh, a fast food place in Australia, a major fast food place, is doing something for Diwali. It's perhaps not that surprising though. I don't know about your local Pizza Hut, but mine, quite a few are, you know, owned and staffed by a lot of people across the Indian diaspora. Like, I don't know if they're actually Indian. I haven't, you know, I'm not checking their passports, but I, I think they're Indian. So anyway, they've got two brand new pizzas out as part of their paneer range. Now, paneer, if you don't know, is that Indian cheese that's quite good in a curry as an alternative to meat. So they have the paneer sensation and the paneer hot and spicy. So the paneer sensation, that is paneer mushrooms, pineapple, interesting, diced tomato, green capsicum, Kalamata olives, onion, oregano, garlic, and mozzarella with a mango habanero drizzle. I do love a good drizzle. And the paneer hot and spicy, which is spicy jalapenos, diced paneer, juicy pineapple, roasted red capsicum, green capsicum, that's two capsicums, onion and mozzarella, finished with chili flakes and garlic. They both sound pretty good. They both don't really sound like that Indian, except for the paneer, but anyway, I want to check them out. I'm going to check out the paneer hot and spicy because that is the cheaper one, and uh, yeah, I am a bit of a cheapskate. So let's go to Pizza Hut and check out whether you should get these pizzas in here or give them a paneer miss. Let's go. Oh, um, do you have the, the Diwali pizzas? Uh, like, I, sorry, the paneer pizza, pizzas? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, can I, are they good? <laughs> have you tried them yet? Okay. Okay, so I haven't gotten the pizza in here. Okay, cool. Cool. Um Yeah. Oh wait, does that mean you can book paneer on anything? Yes, that is true. Oh wow. That is perfectly right. Wow. So you so you can make the paneer appear on Yes, three dollars ninety five extra on uh, okay. the pizza. Oh, sweet. Alrighty, I am back from Pizza Hut with the paneer hot and spicy. Here it is. Let's just take a quick look at it before I get stuck into it. Ba -ba -ba Boom. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now, the lady in the shop was explaining to me that these aren't actually new pizzas. It's just the paneer that is a new ingredient. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I was talking about these, these are actually completely vegetarian. But the thing is, you can just add the paneer to any pizza you want, and um, that makes it a paneer pizza, I guess. Or it just makes it a pizza with paneer on it. I don't know if the paneer is uh, like Indian spiced or, or what, or if it's just plain paneer, but if you've ever had plain paneer, it's like, it's not a particularly strong cheese, so I don't know. Anyway, enough diddle daddle. Let's just get stuck into this hot and spicy paneer or paneer hot and spicy for Diwali. Let's just take a look. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. Hmm, um, so like, you know, for Diwali, I thought it would be like strong Indian sort of taste. I'm not getting any Indian flavors here at all. Yeah, let me just try the, uh, the paneer by itself. I'll hold it, uh, near to the camera. Let's have a try. It's got that squeak, paneer squeak. But yeah, this is, um, unfortunately, it, it's pretty, like, normal paneer. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had enough to, uh, to really comment on this. It's, uh, there's not a lot happening, really. I don't know, the paneer, like, it, it's a really, really standard vegetarian pizza. Like, you can taste the capsicum, mainly. And you can definitely taste a bit of the spice with the jalapenos. And when you when you taste the pineapple bit, 
you can taste the pineapple. All fairly common sort of things. But then when you put them next to the paneer, you can't taste the paneer. So, you know, if, if you like paneer, if you want to add more paneer to your diet for some reason, then I guess this is a decent paneer delivery system, but a, uh, I, I think a sarg paneer beats this hands down. You can get paneer in a curry that is uh, much, much better than this. I think they really need some sort of like curry sauce to go with the paneer, because by itself, it's, it's just kind of an odd ingredient to, to add. Like it's, it's not bad, but it's not great. It, it just kind of really mixes in with the cheese. Yeah, like there's really not a lot of flavor. If it was some sort of like spiced paneer, like a tandoori paneer, you know, that that may have been good. But as it is, it's just like, it's not even as good as their mozzarella cheese. So yeah, it's uh, kind of not ideal. As I said, you can get this added onto any pizza for an extra $3.95, which I don't know is worth it. If you're a vegetarian, then yeah, maybe you can swap out the chicken or the beef for this and it would be fine, but it is really nothing uh, worth singing and dancing about. So I don't know, for anyone celebrating Diwali, you've probably got better dinner options than this. In fact, if you don't have better options than this for Diwali, then I would just stay at home. I would just not celebrate. I would, um, yeah, yeah, do something else. Do something else. Uh, I forgot to say the price. Now, normally this would be $16.45, but I used a voucher, so I got it for $11.50, which is not bad. Like, uh, yeah, you know, Pizza Hut, I gotta say, the, the, the crust here, the dough, and uh, it is cooked well and made well, so points for that, Pizza Hut. But yeah, I, I really can't taste much here, and they don't really cohere. It's, it's mainly just capsicum taste. Mainly just capsicum. So, anyway, I will leave it there. Many thanks for watching. Have a happy and safe Diwali to all who celebrate. And uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will leave it there. I need to go somewhere and... Um, Tow myself off because I'm sweating a lot again. Anyway, many thanks for watching. Cheers.